Hmm. What am I going to play? Hi everyone and welcome to Game Club. Now today I've decided to ask George and Quacko, no talking car, thank you Quacko, to play a classic game from my childhood. That is called Ghost Castle, as you can see here. It's a game where you walk around trying to get through a castle without getting chopped by an axe or hit by a skull or I think bounced on a carpet or something. I can't remember, it's crazy stuff. But anyway, I'm going to show them how to play, and basically then we're going to review. And they probably will hate it, but then no one cares about them, they're ducks. Join us as we play Ghost Castle. Right, so I'm just going to do the unboxing. One second, I have a question. Okay, Quacko, what's the question? Why is this girl so shocked? Look at her face. Do you think it's because of the hairstyles? I mean, look, that's awful, that hairstyle. Or is it the skulls? I mean, what sort of place... Why do they allow children to walk to this sort of place? I mean, look at this guy, he looks scared as well. Look, close up, close up, see? Look at that frightened little face. Terrible. And you played this as a child? God, you must have had a tortured childhood. Thank you, Quacko, go away. No, oh, okay, goodbye. Thank you. Anyway, so this is the unboxing for Ghost Castle. I'll just start by taking that off. Now, obviously, um, I've had this game for a while, so I will basically be unboxing it um, but you know it's already been unboxed as such you anyway, know so that's the outline for the castle itself and then if you look here we can see the instructions and the game is very box standard so it doesn't try to overcomplicate things it's based on a, a game which is called i think the witch's coven or something from the 70s and this basically just souped it up a bit for my generation i think it was 86 this game or 87 it came out uh, sorry, 85 it came out, blimey. Well, I got it certainly in, I think, 86. I was, I don't I'm quite sure exactly how old it was, but I just remember getting it for, anyway. So, you've got this, this lovely board with a rat gnawing on some bones, and this scary hand, which you can't see, but this scary hand. And then some bats here, rats and bats. Some classic tropes. Uh, angry tree, that looks quite hungry. A mean wolf, and then a ghost here as well and a very menacing phantom figure. Stairwells, um, the coffin, the footplates, little characters, I think I even drew another character as well when I was younger. Ooh, two characters as well. Anyway, so join us now as we go ahead and play the game which tortured my childhood, Ghost Castle. Hi everyone and welcome to this game club playthrough with me, Simon, uh, Quacko, yes, me, Quacko, hello, and of course our good friend and Quacko's assistant slash slave, George. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by basically showing you our characters. Quacko will play as this boy here in red, George will be playing as this boy here in blue, and I'll be playing as the girl in green. So, we'll begin. Georgie begins. He's going to roll the dice. Um, Georgie, are you ready to roll? So, and basically what happens is Georgie rolls. And Georgie rolls a six. Very good. So you're one, two, three, four, five, six. And then Georgie, you get to spin. Or do you want me to spin? I'll spin because I, I have thumbs. So um, I spin for them. And, oh, Georgie gets to roll again. Georgie ready? And Georgie gets two. And that's Georgie's turn over. Now it's my turn and I get six. Ooh, one, two, three. Very good. Now I spin this and I get ooh, another dice roll. Very good. So I get what looks like roll again. I get four. One, two, three, four, five, four. That's not good. Now His Majesty. Yes, me, Lord Quacko. You're not a Lord Quacko, you're just Quacko, and also your real name is Simon. 
please don't tell people that. It's, it's my eternal shame. Anyway, can I have a dice, please? In your mouth. And, oh dear, you have to roll again. Three. And you get to spin. And you get a skull. So, okay, let's um, put that there while everyone watches. And I'll just take the camera off because everyone's going to enjoy this if it happens. So let's go here. Okay, are we ready? Skull goes in the top here. And... Oh, it went down the stairs. Very lucky indeed. Now that is principally why the game is kind of more was popular even than so when I was a kid. Because you basically had this dynamic of, well, someone could get it, couldn't they, Quacks? That's, yeah, that's Georgie, thank you, Georgie. Quack goes looking astonished because he didn't get me. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. I thought I'd get you. Yeah, well, you didn't, so get over it, mate. Anyway, right, next is Georgie's turn again. Georgie rolls. Georgie, you want to roll? Yep, good. And Georgie gets two, so one, two. Oh, can't share the same space, so you have to move forward one. Now spin. And Georgie gets a scared stiff. Oh, dear, Georgie. So what happens with the scared stiff is then he wears this funny little hat thing on his head and then it goes to uh, me. Six, thank goodness. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go here for six. And I spin that. And I get a skull. Okay, everyone. We just, what we want to do is we just want to show people one skull. So hopefully you can get to see that. Okay, I'm going to hover over me and I'll drop it in and... Oh, there you go. Finally, exactly what we wanted to happen has happened. Brilliant. So, there you go. Now you get to see exactly why Ghost Castle was so popular. It was the game where things can happen, which people didn't expect. And as we've seen, I've just been washed and would have to start back here at the start of the room. Uh, there are four different traps. You've got that one, which is the axe. You've got this one, which is the foot plate thing. That one, which is the mirror that either you can walk through or kicks you. And then you've got the stairwell. Anyway, I don't think I need to go through any more. We will do a playthrough with the guys, uh, I think next season, or actually at the end of this season, when we do our best of season. Um, but that's Ghost Castle, thanks. For me, the problem with Ghost Castle is the problem with a lot of modern society. It's called nostalgia. People remember the past as if it was some wonderful, groovy time and everyone was happy and going la di la di loo. But they weren't. This game is not a la di la di loo experience. It is literally a bunch of kids walking around a castle, getting chopped with axes and hit with skulls. Not fun. However, if you have a family, and you wanted to maybe spend some time with them, scaring them stupid, this would be the game for you. Play it in the dark, it's even more fun because you don't see anything and literally the skull gets you. <laughs> so, the take home. Nostalgia is not good, this game is also not great, but for children and childlike humans, like Simon, it's enjoyable enough. Anyway, that's it. The Contrarian has spoken. Quacko, out. Oh, sorry, yes. I was supposed to also say, this is Quacko, this was Ghost Castle, and this was Game Club. Thank you. Tatty bye.